Hi folks, Dr. Rowe here. Oh my gosh. Uh, sorry, I was adjusting my lights there. Um, got limited time this evening, so I wanted to just spend maybe five to eight minutes with you specifically talking about a subject which I think if we don't talk about this now, those of you that are running a business or possibly, um, just, there's a strange thing going on my screen. I'm not sure how to change that. I think it's to do with the light reflection of my black top. It is, right? I'll keep my arms down, which I don't really like to do, of course. So a uh, question has come in, and I've just put this straight onto the screen here so you can see the four things we need to tackle. And that is, uh, it was a question actually relating to my workshop, which is happening next week. Hi, Helen. How you see? How you doing? Um, and that is, um, how do I know if what I'm saying is actually getting through to the people I'm talking to? And why am I sometimes feeling a little bit weird when I'm working with somebody in my workplace or with my boss, for example? Now, this comes down to two things. Number one is your core alignment, or three things. Your, who you, what your core values are, um, your basic personality, meaning who you are, you, your identity, but also what you're saying and is what you're saying aligned with what your values are. So, for example, when I run property classes, and I'm talking about property from a perspective of me being an investor, uh, the message is very passionate. Um, sometimes it's very direct, but at the same time, people re relate to it because what I'm saying is what I'm doing. I also believe it, but I also believe that if people don't build some sort of business in the background, some security, i.e. a property business, um, and they're just relying on a job, they're in trouble. So the message is aligned with my core values, which one of which is security, and also the need for human beings to grow and expand and to, to invest in themselves and to develop a business. So all those messages are aligned. If I didn't trust in one of those messages, or if I didn't believe in one of those messages, then although I might be saying it, the other person doesn't feel it. The reason you can get resonance with somebody and get connection is when what you're saying and the words you're saying are aligned with who you are as a person and they align with the other person. If the other person doesn't relate to that set of values, then there's no point in chatting to them anyway. Don't get upset about it. Don't get pissed off if they don't want to do business with you because quite frankly, it's probably not going to be a good working relationship anyway, as I've discovered over the years. So the first rule of thumb, and this, so th this is one of the parts we'll do on the workshop next week. I've just realized that actually I haven't put it in the post here. So I will put, uh, you need to go to cicado.com, but I can't remember what the, I think it's forward slash workshop. I can't remember what the, the link is. So I'll put it in after I've done this post and you can find it. Um, but we've got, I think next Tuesday's workshop is almost full actually. We've got over 50 people booked onto that, I believe. So you may need to book onto the one after that. So what's the first thing to remember? Number one, if you don't know what your core values are, you're in trouble to start with because you're basically fumbling through life, possibly living by somebody else's core values, values you've inherited. And I used to do this on the turning point. So we'd take people through like five or six hours of raking out and extracting their core values, realigning those values into a hierarchy and then going, oh my God, this feels totally different. So if, for example, you told me you're healthy, but or well, that was some of your that was one of your core values, but actually most of the time you're eating shit, processed food, you know, drinking a lot of alcohol, and all that sort of stuff, and looking after yourself. Then the reality is you might say that you're healthy, but your lifestyle doesn't reflect that. So a quick way to identify somebody's core values is to simply look at how they show up, and it immediately reflects it. What a person says is very different to what a person does if they're misaligned. If they're totally in alignment with their values, how they show up and how they act and how they speak are all aligned, the message is very, very powerful. So when I teach Communicating with Impact, one of the things I teach people is don't talk about something or teach something or share an idea with somebody. If you yourself are not doing it or you're not aligned with those values, you can't just regurgitate a concept to somebody if it's not in alignment with you as a person. I'm assuming this makes sense. So actually Helen, I think it's Helen might still be watching now, but Helen Roberts is watching at the moment or was earlier. So she comes on and does a wonderful piece on a Sunday morning when I'm doing my property related events. And she's really in that place, very authentic. She just shares the story and most of us watching get very upset because we can relate to her story and she means it. She's gone through an ama amazing journey. That's pure authenticity when somebody's in that space. So you've got to have your message or your messages aligned with your core values. If you're working in a business and your business is I don't know, selling a vegetable type or a product or a health product or whatever it is, an idea, a concept or a way of making money, but you not, you don't completely believe that or you're not actually doing it or you're not aligned with it completely. And I mean 
completely. It's like fitting a round plug, uh, you know, peg in a round hole. It has to be an absolute fit. If it's slightly misaligned, if you're trying to you know, force it in there, it's not going to work. And that's a classic example of when somebody's values are not aligned with what they're saying. And I can spot it straight away. I only have to ask a couple of questions of somebody. It's like a mind read. I teach this as well. And you can tell straight away somebody's misaligned. So one of the things we'll talk about in the workshop is authenticity. Because yeah, you know, when, when you're choosing to teach people for three hours on a subject, albeit normally I do it for three days, i.e. communication, is choosing what are the most appropriate things right now somebody can pick up and use and implement straight away. And one of the areas is, is getting a level of certainty and authenticity in the way you do that. And actually, I'm going to coach somebody on that workshop. The easiest way is to actually demonstrate it as well. So here's a question for you. In your business, what do you believe about your business? What do you, so what do you believe about what you're offering to people? And do those things align with your core values? And if you say, well, well, I don't know what my core values are, then you need to start working on that. Go and have a look at The Turning Point, the book I wrote. It's on Amazon. And there's a whole chapter in there on specifically on values and values alignment. Now, I can't stress how important that is. Okay, so get those values aligned. Um, have a look at your business. Is there anything in the business or the service that you offer that it does not completely align with you as a person and your core values? And if there is something, and ask yourself the question, why am I offering that? Why is that service even something I'm offering? Because quite frankly, it doesn't really fit with my core values. And if it doesn't, that's probably why that product doesn't sell very well. And finally, are you working for somebody who's just completely misaligned with your values? Most people I have coached over the years that are not happy with their job, their career, is because who they are as a person is not actually vibrationally in harmony with the employer, i.e. the person they're working for, or the company they're working for. I mean, imagine... I'm not going to say the name of a company, but imagine that you are really, really into organic, healthy food and you believe in juicing and you believe in waking up in the morning and eating healthy and staying healthy. And yet you work for a, I was going to say the name of it, but you work for a fast food, uh, a burger company. <laughs> it almost slipped out of my mouth, didn't I? Uh, you work for a burger company and, you know, they sell basically sugary based processed food. And you're wondering, and yes, you're earning a salary there, but you're wondering why you've been kind of pissed off for the last few years. It's because your core values are totally misaligned with that company who aren't really selling a product that fits with who you are as a person. So that's so important. And that may mean stepping back from your workplace and then maybe working somewhere else. Or it might be that within the workspace you're working, there are two or three people that you're not so aligned with. And that may be the challenge. So then there are skills you can develop to communicate with those people in such a way that at least you're connecting with the appropriate set of values that they may have, albeit that they're not your values, but you're doing it for the, pu the purpose of the functionality of the company, the business, the job, whatever you're in. And that's tricky because, you know, you can choose people to come and work for you. I'm a lion. She is. That's Helen. You are Helen. Um, you can choose, if you run a business, you can, and this is what we do, you can choose people to come into your business and work with you. When I do events, for example, on my own personal brand, who I choose to come and crew for us, very specific it's not just like random people they have to be totally aligned and doing what i'm teaching um, but when you go to work for somebody you can't necessarily choose the people you're working with and that's where the communication can break down so there are ways to communicate in such a way that you still align with those people from the point of view of functioning in the job albeit you don't necessarily want to associate with them hang out with them etc i don't know if this makes sense so what's the first step dr wrote first step is just identify what your core values are and that's a process of going away. It probably take you about two or three hours of hard work to get through that. But if you can do it, it's a great process. And then it's learning how to communicate those values outwardly. So I better go because I'm actually uh, I'm actually giving a short presentation in about 10 minutes to a group of people. So I better go. Anyway, look, have a great evening. Um, I'll put the link down to the workshop, which is happening. It's only like 15 quid. I think we've got three. That's all we're running this year, three workshops. And then we have a bigger event in April. Um, so we've got one on Tuesday next week, one on the following Saturday. And yeah, yes, Helen says that's why people are miserable in their jobs. Absolutely. It's not even so much. They may actually quite enjoy the process they're doing in their job. It's just unfortunate that they're hanging out with people they're not aligned with. Or well, they're, they're just personally have different values, but they're forced to work for that company because they want the money. That's a misalignment of value altogether, by the way, but I'm not going to go into that conversation. Right, I better sign off. Lots of hearts coming in. Thank you for that. Thanks for the thumbs up. And I will see you all soon. And I will 
pop the link back in here just to remind everybody when the workshop is um, and I shall see you all soon. Take care.